Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about beauty minis. Now we've all been there, you're shopping at Sephora or Ulta, you're standing in line waiting to check out, and right near you are all of the displays of Temptation with all the really adorable miniature products. So many of them are cult classic things, maybe some stuff that you've always really wanted to try, and you ask yourself, is it actually worth buying? Typically, mini beauty products cost a lot less than the full-size versions, but they also contain significantly less product. And truth be told, most of the time, the price per ounce is definitely a better bargain if you just buy the full-size product. At the same time, maybe you don't need all the product that's in the full size, so you're just better off saving your money and going the mini route. And that's why I wanted to create today's video. I'm gonna be sharing my thoughts on the beauty minis that are actually worth buying in lieu of getting the full size, along with my reasoning for making those recommendations, which really is ultimately going to depend on your personal beauty preferences and how you utilize the beauty products in your stash. So I'm gonna try to take that into consideration with the recommendations that I'm making, but hopefully this will help you guys save a little money or at least clue you into some products that you can actually buy mini versions of. And of course, the holidays are also right around the corner, so if you're looking for ideas for stocking stuffers, grab bag gifts, fun little inexpensive things, this may also give you some gifting inspiration. As always, if you guys enjoy Enjoyed this video I hope you will give it a thumbs up and if you're new here to my channel my name is Lauren thanks so much for hanging out with me today I hope you will consider subscribing before you leave and with all that being said let's get into some of my beauty mini recommendations so why don't we get started with skincare now skincare to me is probably the trickiest category when it comes to beauty minis because the price per ounce is usually significantly higher than when you're buying something full size and oftentimes if you're investing in skincare it's a product that you're going to use every single day sometimes multiple times a day so it's usually worth it to just buy the full size something that will last you for several months versus a mini which maybe only will last you a couple of weeks if you're worried about having a reaction to a product breaking out, you can usually just go to Sephora and have them make you a sample of the product to try. And honestly, I would recommend going that route than spending any of your money at all if skin sensitivity is a concern of yours. But I feel like there are still a few instances in which buying the mini actually might be a better idea than buying the full size product. So like, take this guy here. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleeping Mask. Now this is the full size version of this product and I really enjoy it. It's a very refreshing, lightweight kind of gel. You put it on your skin after you cleanse at nighttime and you sleep with it on and rinse it off in the morning. It has like alpha hydroxy acids in it so it kind of gently chemically exfoliates your skin. It smells like a watermelon Jolly Rancher. It's really nice. The issue with this product is that I don't typically use it every single night. And a little bit goes a really long way with this. So if I'm only going to use it one or two times a week, I feel like it takes a long, long time to go through one of these jars and it's not going to stay fresh forever. So honestly, I would recommend just getting the mini because by the time you go through it, you probably would wanna just get a fresh one anyway. And when you break down the price per ounce, you're not really being gouged with the mini for this. So there are two ounces of product in the full size jar and it retails for $39. The mini version has one ounce, so half as much product for $21, which is almost half the price. It's not like significantly different. So I honestly would say, just go the mini route if you're interested in this product, especially if you don't anticipate using it every single night in lieu of your regular moisturizer. Another really excellent beauty mini I wanted to recommend is the Pharmacy Green Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. This is fantastic for breaking down really heavy glam makeup. It doesn't leave any kind of residue on your skin after you rinse it off, which a lot of cleansing balms do, and it smells like a lime popsicle. It's kind of the best. Where I would say you're better off actually buying the mini is if you are someone that tends to wear makeup a little less frequently or that tends to wear more natural makeup on an everyday basis and only really needs heavy makeup removal once in a while. 
If you're not someone that tends to wear a lot of like black eyeliner, really heavy mascara, heavy foundations, things that you really have to work to get off, you probably aren't going to need a big tub of makeup cleansing balm. It's probably not gonna make sense in your everyday skincare routine, but they are really nice to have on hand for those times when you just need a little extra than your regular face wash to get your makeup off. And like, don't get me wrong, there's still a substantial amount of product in this little jar, so it definitely would last quite a while, especially if you were only using it once a week or once every couple of weeks, depending on your makeup wearing preferences. This size is also really travel friendly. So if you're one of those people like me that would love to have this in full size, it may also make sense to buy it in the mini to keep this with like your travel toiletries so you're able to have a really great makeup remover with you on the go. So this next product I actually don't have in front of me because I used the whole thing up and threw it away a little while ago. I will insert a picture for you guys so you can see what the heck I'm talking about. Uh, but the product is the Drunk Elephant TLC Sukari Baby Facial. Now Drunk Elephant is a high-end, extremely expensive skincare brand. They make really high quality products, but you're looking at dropping anywhere from 40 to like 90 something dollars on a single product, which is not exactly in everyone's budget. The Sukari Baby Facial especially is one of the more expensive products from the range. It's close to $90, but it is a really fantastic chemical exfoliant for your skin. It helps to reduce texture and fine lines. It does kind of burn your face off. I'm not gonna lie, it is not for the faint of heart, but when you use it consistently over several weeks, you do really notice that your skin looks a lot clearer and more radiant. So unlike a cleanser or a moisturizer or a serum where you're using it every single day or multiple times a day, this is the treatment. So you're probably only going to use it once a week. And maybe if you're someone that this is like the only treatment type product that you're using and you're gonna use it consistently for months and months on end, sure, maybe it's worth it to get the full size version. But if you are rotating through other peels and masks and whatnot and you're only using it once every two weeks or something like that, it's gonna take you a long time to go through that whole full size product. And one of the things about Drunk Elephant that's really a great thing is that they put a lot of high quality ingredients into their products, but they also don't put a ton of preservatives into them. So they always recommend for like the optimal freshness of their products to basically use them up within a couple of months of when you open them. You don't want to be leaving their products like sitting half used on your shelf for months and months and months on end. So if you're not sure that you're necessarily going to want to commit to using the baby facial or you're not sure how your skin's gonna tolerate it over the long time, you might be better off buying the mini, which is $28 and has about a third of the amount of product as the full size, than shelling out almost 90 bucks. And then the last skincare related thing I wanted to touch on are really cute little sets like this one here from Laneige. Now this has a bunch of little minis in it and I actually think these Laneige sets are an incredible value. They're $25, which for a skincare set is actually really reasonably priced and you get five different products in here to try. This happens to be the hydrating set. They also have one for pore care as well, but you basically get like a little essence, you get a cleanser, you get the sleeping mask, you get a toner, and you get the moisture cream hydrator. And what's cool about this is you actually get to try like the whole skincare regimen and see how all the products work together. So maybe you could decide which of them you like, which work for you before you actually go on and buy the full size. Something like this is also really handy as a gift. It's also really handy if you're traveling so you kind of have your whole skincare routine all in mini, you don't have to think about it and go out and buy individual products. It's definitely probably cheaper to do it this way than to buy mini versions of your cleanser and your toner and everything separately. I have just noticed that a lot of little skincare sets are A, not complete, and B, are not this good of a value. They're usually more in the like high 30 to mid to low $40 range. So I thought this was a really awesome little deal. Definitely would recommend it. Laneige makes some really great skincare products so if you were looking for a more complete little mini skincare routine that is one I would definitely say is worth checking out all right so let's move on to makeup so when it comes to makeup there are really two things that come to mind for me when I'm trying to decide whether or not I should buy the full size 
or the mini version. The first thing is whether or not the application of the product is going to be impacted by having it in a mini size. If you've ever tried to stick your blush brush into a very tiny blush compact, it's kind of a pain in the butt. And to that point, I'd almost rather just have the full size because I know I'm going to evenly get product on my brush and it's just going to apply better. But as we're going to get into in a moment, with like a highlighter, let's say, I tend to use a smaller brush in those pans anyway, so I don't mind having a smaller compact. The second factor is longevity. That is, how long will the product actually last before it expires, and how likely am I to actually use up the whole thing? I know for myself personally, like foundations, concealers, brow products, those are things I have absolutely no problem using, so I definitely always find it worth it to buy them in full size. But there are a ton of products I hardly ever come even close to finishing, or panning, so I know if I'm being real with myself, I really don't need more than the amount of product that comes in the mini. I think the best example of this is highlighter. How often do any of us pan a highlighter? If you are someone that is able to do that, I say kudos to you because I find it incredibly difficult. You're only using a very small amount of product on a targeted amount of your face, and especially if you have multiple highlights you're rotating through on a regular basis, trying to pan any single one of them feels like it will take you the next 10 years. High-end highlights are also usually extremely expensive. Like this guy here, this is a full-size Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. It retails for $38. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. This is Prosecco Pop and I love it, but when will I ever use eight grams of highlighter? I mean, this is a lot of product. I've had this for a while. I've used it. I don't even know how many times and it looks like I've barely put a dent in it. On the flip side, this is a little mini version of the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Opal and you get 2.4 grams of product in this little pan. Let me just show you for comparison. I mean, it's it's significantly smaller than the full size pan and it's like what like a quarter of the amount of product. You can get this for $19. I mean, this came in a little set so it doesn't have the same packaging as you would get if you actually ordered the mini online. It actually looks just like the original with the same silver kind of disc on the front, but the product amount is the same. So this $19, this $38. Yes, you're getting a lot more bang for your buck with the full size, but honestly, you might as well save yourself the almost $20 and get the mini if you just want to try out the shade, if you don't wear highlight every single day, or if you're like me and you have 20 different highlighters in your collection and you know there is no way in heck you will ever go through this entire pan. It looks like they have their six most popular shades available in mini sizes, which is awesome. And I'm pretty sure Becca still has this little holiday set available that had four minis of their more like limited edition highlight shades so if you're a highlighter junkie for only a couple bucks more than one full-size highlighter you might as well get the set of four different shades speaking of holiday sets every year it seems like Stila has been releasing a little trio of their glitter and glow liquid eyeshadows which have quickly become one of their best selling products these are so beautiful and so sparkly and I absolutely love them and I think getting the little mini set is totally the way to go for comparison so this is a full size of kitten karma this is a mini from last year set in diamond dust so you are getting maybe about half to a third as much product in the little mini. I think the three all together have more product than one full size. This retails for $24. The set is about $25. So basically about the same price, but you get to try three different shades, which definitely allows you for a little bit more variety in your looks. If you're the kind of person that wears glitter every single day, you may be better off just picking your favorite shade and getting the full size of these because you odds are will probably be able to go through it. But if you're the kind of person that only wears glitter for special occasions, for when you're going out, you're only using it maybe at max like once a month, I'd say just go with the minis. Then you get more shade variety, more things to play with, and you're not gonna necessarily waste as much product. Another little gift set that I picked up recently that I've been really loving is the Fenty Beauty Bomb Baby Set. This has minis of their Gloss Bomb and the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter in the shade Hustla Baby. And this to me was the perfect way to try out both of these products because 
I don't need either of these in full size. We just talked about highlighter, and so you guys know I really don't need the entire full size of this. This is the perfect amount of product for me to test out this highlight and use it and love it. And then the same thing goes for the lip gloss. I never finish lip products. I have way too many of them. I'm lucky if I use the same lip product two or three times in the same month because I'm constantly rotating through so many things in my collection. So I feel like to me to have the full size of this would be really wasteful because I would never go through it. And what's especially nice about this guy is that the actual like packaging is the same width and shape as the original. It's just shorter. So the applicator is the same size. It feels a lot like the full size lip gloss. It's just a little bit more purse friendly. Speaking of lips, I feel like Sephora right now has a ton of really cute little lip sets for the holidays. If you want to try a particular lip product in a bunch of different shades, going the mini route may be really nice. I know like Bite Beauty has a great one. There's one from Pat McGrath from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And one that I thought was particularly interesting um, is a little duo they have of the Ciate Glitter Flips. Now, these were so crazy popular last holiday. Like you could not get them. They were sold out everywhere. And now I think the full sizes are actually on sale for like 13 bucks, which is a really a pretty good deal. But my thing is like, how often are you really going to use this product? It is a glittery liquid lipstick. It's a lot of fun for a party, a lot of fun for the holidays, but most people probably aren't going to wear this as their like everyday lip shade. So I don't think you really need the full size. And there was this little set for $15. You get two minis of the Glitter Flip liquid lipsticks. So essentially you're getting like the same amount of product as one full size, but you're getting two shades. And I think it's actually cheaper than the full price of one of these on its own. And so to me, that's kind of like a no brainer. A, you're getting more shade variety and B, you're being less wasteful because let's be serious. What are the odds that you will use up an entire Glitter Flip before it expires. Like you're supposed to throw lip products away after about a year of having them and odds are I probably would never use up an entire one of these in a year. Another really big one for me is mascara. Now mascara is something you're supposed to throw away every three months because your eyes have all kinds of bacteria and you don't want to give yourself an infection. So for like hygienic purposes, you're really not supposed to keep a mascara for like more than three, four months at a time. So to me, I feel like buying mascara minis makes so much sense because it has the perfect amount of product for a three month supply and you're not really having any waste. I know Sephora has these awesome lash stash kits that basically has more mascara than you'll need in an entire year. They have like a ton of little minis as well as a few full size mascaras. Ulta now, I saw that like there was like a little Maybelline mini mascara kit. You got four mini Maybelline mascaras for $15, which is super, super awesome. Or you could even just buy like the little like holiday ornaments that just have the individual minis of your favorite high-end mascara. Like I personally love the uh, Lancome Monsieur Big Mascara. I would say if you were really curious to try that one, get the mini. It's 12 bucks. It's like less than half the price of the full sized one. And odds are it has just the right amount of product that you would need for a three month supply. So this next one is really going to be more a matter of personal preference and how you like to do your makeup. But if you're someone that doesn't tend to use setting spray on an everyday basis, I would say go for the mini versions because they're significantly less expensive than the full sizes. Like this is a mini of Max Fix Plus and I don't actually like using this as a setting spray all over my face because I'm really oily and I find this makes me way too dewy throughout the day. I like to use it primarily just for foiling eyeshadows because it has glycerin, so it does a really good job of helping the shadows actually stick and foil to your eyes. So I kind of felt like the mini was perfect for me. I don't really need the whole big full size thing of it because I'm using it for something so specific and I'm only using like one or two sprays. I think if I was gonna douse my whole face on this on a daily basis, it would make sense for me to have the big full size one. But if you're just gonna use it for foiling eyeshadows, I say go with the mini. And then you have something like the Urban Decay All Nighter, which is a fantastic setting spray. Like if you want your makeup to be locked in, <laughs> all night, it really does a fantastic job of prolonging the wear of your makeup. 
But really, if you're someone that just wears like minimal makeup on day to day and only does like the full beat for special occasions, it probably doesn't make sense to shell out like 30 something dollars for the full size of this because you're not gonna use it that often. So I would say if you do wanna try it, you do wanna have it on hand for those times where you do want your makeup to last and you are going to go a little bit more glamorous, the mini is $15 and that may be perfect for you in your makeup collection. You may only still need to restock it like twice a year. There are a lot of high-end brands now that are releasing like little mini versions of their bigger palettes. So if you're the kind of person that doesn't want like 15 or 20 different eyeshadow shades in a palette to play with, if that's overwhelming to you, or if you look at the price tag of like a Natasha Denona or a Pat McGrath palette, and it's way outside of your budget, but you really wanna try the formula, the little smaller palettes may be the way to go. One of my personal favorites are the Obsessions palettes from Huda Beauty. Her full-size palettes retail for like $65, which is a lot of money, but these guys are 28 and they have nine eyeshadows instead of, I don't know, like 20 something. Um, it's still a significant amount. You can definitely create a lot of looks and now she's expanded the Obsessions line. So there are some limited edition ones that are really colorful for the holidays, plus a whole bunch in the regular like permanent collection. So you can have these warm mauvey tones. There's one with like more neutral tones, one with more like warm orangey tones. There's a whole bunch of fun things to choose from. So again, Again, if you don't want to shell out upwards of $40 on an eyeshadow palette, but you still want some fun colors and textures to play with, I would say maybe check out the mini palettes. See if there's one that calls to you because it may be the perfect amount of product for your collection. So that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope these recommendations were helpful for you. You know, beauty is such a highly personal thing. We all have our own preferences and our own budget. So ultimately you need to do what's best for you. I just wanna throw some good information your way, help get these products on your radar in case you didn't know there were minis of some of these things. Maybe it will help you save some money or give you some gift ideas. Again, if you're doing some holiday shopping and you want some cute little stocking stuffers for people, maybe this will inspire you. If you enjoyed this video, again, make sure you give it a thumbs up and also please subscribe if you want to see more videos from me in the future. And with all that being said, I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome rest of your day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.